Hey you guys, welcome back. If you're new head, what's up? Go ahead and um like and subscribe, subscribe and like. It doesn't matter which one you do as long as you tap that notification button. If you're old head, what's up family? You guys already know what we're doing here. We're gonna try this new hair product, um, this new trial of wash and go. Maybe it go right, maybe it go wrong. Whatever happens, I'm going to post it. Whether it looks bad or looks good, I'm really hesitant, but I'm gonna do it. So let's go and get into this video. y'all so i'm just getting in um i went and worked out um for a good hour and um it's time for another hair video so i'm um, gonna go hop in the shower i'm gonna get into this um new wash and go trial hopefully it works out i don't know we're gonna find out all right so apparently the first step of this moisture wash and go or whatever this crispy curl um, wash and go. Hopefully this works out for see here. But it is conditioner. Just use a whole lot of conditioner, like a co-wash, but not a co-wash, you guys. Like actually using conditioner to co-wash your hair. So I'll just be using regular conditioner. I'll be using this Moroccan oil conditioner. Um, I don't have a lot of it, so I got the mint one as well over here. Um, and we're just gonna start with that. As you guys see, the water has already been dripping because if you watched the beginning of this video, I just came from a workout. Um, your girl's hair was in a nice little poof for a little minute, so she looking a little crazy. I wanna try this wash and go method. I, I hear a lot about it. So we're gonna go ahead and um, start with this rinsing with the water. But let's go get Okay, so here I went on and sectioned my hair into fours. He didn't do this, but I know how my hair works. So I'm just going to do what's best for my hair type and put my hair into four sections. <laughs> For each section before applying more conditioner, I use what's on my hand on the section, just making sure that I'm, you know, using all my product and I'm not wasting any. <laughs> about water in my face oh my god this, i did not like this no mm -mm. they see you on the track boy <laughs> 
So with the conditioner, you're supposed to apply a generous amount of leave-in. So this is all about moisture, you guys, all about the conditioner. So don't just add a little bit like I normally do. Add a generous amount. <music> just to at least keep my roots wet but what I think I'm going to do I'm going to amp up a little bit I definitely need to put on my oil today um definitely definitely so I'm gonna put a few drips on my scalp and I think I'm just gonna hit my hair with a little bit of steam not a whole lot just a quick little steam before I progress to the next part I don't know if this, this method is going to work for me. I'm already feeling a little skeptical, but I'm going to keep going. Just add a little steam. Open up the hair. Receive what I put in it. And as you see, I'm not putting it directly on my hair this time. I'm just lightly putting it away. This is probably the last time I'm going to use steam for like a couple of days. Because the last time I used it was Saturday. Yeah. Once again, if you guys have not purchased a steamer, I totally suggest you to do it. It's definitely worth it. All right. So as per usual, I normally start in the back for like a wash and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin it up so you guys can see this. Um, once again, all that's in my hair right now is Maya's leave-in conditioner. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a section and pin it up and put some gel in it. A nice decent amount. Hey, y'all can't probably see that. A nice decent amount of gel for the section. I'm not doing too much because I didn't see him defining. He just tossed the gel in there. So I'm just going to toss the gel in there. The only thing that I changed about his method is the fact that I sectioned off my hair. And I'll probably constantly add just a little bit of water as I go. So I got some warm water on deck. My hair is already wet. But I just want to add a little bit more. Grab some more gel. I thought I was going to take the the, the Demon brush and run it through my hair. But once again, 
He didn't do that, so I won't do that. Just do a little finger run through. Once again, I'm not trying to touch it too much. I'm just a little bit touchy touch. I saw where he just kind of put it in the hair. But I always know that my hair never works if I just toss gel in it. So um, that's another difference. That I'm not just tossing gel in there. Now, if the section is too big, I will split it if it doesn't do it by itself. But other than that, it's all just falling apart by itself. I let it do its own thing. So once again, I'm trying to go for like a Afro wash and look, go look today. So I'm not doing the middle part. I'm gonna make it go around. I'm gonna I don't have cut bangs, so I hope it turns out right. I feel like it should because of the way that my hair shrinks off. Because once again, I've talked about this many times about my hair shrinkage. It's real in these streets. But it's all good. It might be doing something. This is what it looks like now though. We're not even thinking about in its dried state what this might look like for me. So, I don't know. I also want to see, I'll probably do the next section and like some like, applying like a hair butter conditioner to see if that makes a difference. We'll figure it out as we go. This is definitely one of those trial and error videos. All right, so this is what the back section is looking like for this side. Um, I'm gonna go get some hair butter and I'll be right back. All right, you all, so, so I went and picked some of this up from Walmart. You guys know that I've tried this before. Um, it's the Eden Natural Curl Defining Cream. Um, I like the way that it worked on my hair. Um, everything, it seems like it's natural, so it does. Works nice on my 4C hair. Um, I kind of want to see how it works on like a uh, wash and go type of way. Um, I don't know, hopefully it will look nice. Once again, we're gonna go ahead and take this section and pin it up. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully it turns out nice. This is a trial <laughs> and error. Let me set it. So, spray this whole section with some water. Take a nice generous amount because we're putting it on the whole section.
work that into the whole section. Might hit it with a little steamy steam. But you guys see the different textures in my hair though? See how this one came out more elongated than the rest? Normally, this side is the more defined side and this is more the wavy straight. So I'm gonna keep applying this a little bit. The gel. This side needs definitely a lot more structure than the rest. Takes more time. This is why I always do the side kind of last because I just have to construct it and work it through. Like this side, you can't just clump some gel in it and it be okay. I'm gonna have to help it define itself. And that should just shrink up whenever it's ready to shrink up. <laughs> so on this side, I definitely work in smaller sections, or at least I try to work in smaller sections depending on the time, being that I have time today. I can kind of work in certain sections in a sense. And a little shaky shakes. Oh, I thought I heard something. That's another thing that I didn't do in that section is shake it. Well, that made a difference to start shrinking. Do a little shaky shake, y'all. I got to tell y'all that. No shaky shake. So as you guys can see, my hair is starting to shrink up, especially on this side, my hair is really shrinking up. And this side is slowly shrinking up with it which is a good thing, I guess. Um, I didn't want, you know, once again, an elongated wash and go. I want it like a fro. So, it's doing what it wants. I think I'm gonna change this into a one side cream and one side without cream to tell the difference. I think that's the best way to do it. with this experimentation that I'm doing. Yep, this is what I want to Shakey shake. All right, you all. So, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna continue to go on to the front side of my hair, and then I'm gonna come back when I finish these two sections. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm finally done, as y'all can see. It's finally done. So now that's all that's really left is to let it dry and do another shake out. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it out. All right. 
So, this is what it's looking like. Good little metal part for right now. <laughs> so y'all can see my face. Um, I'm gonna let it air dry for about an hour. So y'all can see my face. Okay. Um, and then I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like after an hour. As you guys can see, this side is really shrinking up along with this side. So put this back. And yeah, so we'll be back to see um, how it dries in an hour. All right, you all, so this is like an hour and a few moments later, you know what I'm saying? My hair is looking wonderful. Um, sir, this method that you came up for this wash and go, because I'm still shaking it out, trying to get it all together, is bomb. It's bomb. I, I will not lie to y'all. This is probably one of the best wash and goes that I've done. My hair is drying nicely. I think the main piece is the moisture piece and to shake it out. Don't just, you know, let your hair do its thing. Shake it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, y'all can't see these curls as well as I can. Of course, there's some parts still in my hair that, um, you know, they're still a little wavy straight. But majority of my hair, <laughs> I'm I'm just happy. I think it is turning out splendid. Like, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna keep letting this dry because, as y'all can see, the product is still here, and that I mean, this is the last piece that I did was the top half, so that half is still going to be. Um, wet. I'm going to let this air dry. I'm not going to diffuse my hair as much as I want to diffuse it. And people are like, oh, go ahead and diffuse your hair, girl. No. I'm just going to let this air dry. It's probably going to take the rest of the day to really dry. I'm trying to see how much more my the bang area will um, shrink up. And if that doesn't shrink up as, you know, any more than this, I'll probably end up bibby. I said bibby. <laughs> I'll end up bobby pinning it up. So that'll be out of my face a little bit but my fro is coming along well i haven't really shaped it yet i'm just letting it do its thing do the little shaky shake thing and you know that's why i am an hour after the fact that i finished has some change so if you guys want to you know continue to see the finishing results i mean keep watching because they're about to pop up right here all right, you all. So pretty much, I finished my hair. My hair is about like 80, 89 because it's still a little wet, but it's still looking really good. Um, your girl is looking muy caliente. Um, looking quite scrumptious, if you do. I, you know, if I ask myself when I came out, people were like, and I was like, oh honey, don't look at me. Let me stop. I'm feeling myself just a little bit. Um, I think I'm, this is where I'm going to end the video. Like, my hair is popping, y'all. Like, this method works. Like, it works. Like, go do this method. Um, I might go back and link his video below so that you guys can go check it out for yourself. But, um, baby. Baby girl, baby boy. <laughs> yes. So, um. I'm gonna go get me something to eat, flex in the window and all that type of stuff. And um, don't forget to wash and go with Victoria. Bye guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect.